Yes, Miss Eyeboss. I'm sorry, Miss Begu. Okay. Hi, uh, good evening. I'm Phyllis Eyeboss. I'm a teacher in the parish for a little over 20 years and a parent of a special education student. I've been wanting to express some concerns, but like many other staff members, I was always worried about the repercussions that would follow. I love what I do and don't want to lose my job. However, after watching the school board meeting, our superintendent Javia spoke against a charter school because he feels we're doing everything for our students with exceptionalities, formerly known as special education. And then Ms. Lamey referred to herself and the board members as Mr. Javia's posse that has been weighing heavily on my heart ever since. I want you all to know that my entire life, all I wanted to do was be a teacher. I wanted to work with struggling learners so I could help them be successful. I've been doing that now for over 20 years. I've always thought our special education program needed serious help, but who was I to say anything? Kept my mouth closed, did what I was told to do, and I rolled with it. One of those years, I had 29 students in my special education ELA class. The next year, I had 28. But yet, we're doing everything we can for our students with exceptionalities. Several years ago, I was given the opportunity as a special education teacher to co-teach with some regular ed teachers. We did a book, a book study with our admin during this time, and we did it very well. My special education student scores grew high. After doing the book study for several years and showing that it worked, we did away with it. Now we have inclusion teachers, teachers of students with exceptionalities, popping in and out of our classrooms for 20 to 30 minutes providing support. If their students are struggling and need them longer, well, sorry, they have to get to their next class to go work with more students. Why would we not keep something in place if it was working? But yet we're doing everything for our students with exceptionalities. I ended up leaving special education because I couldn't stand what was happening. Saw it with my own daughter and with my students. We were not doing what was best for them. Now we have a teacher in sub shortage. Now we have Paris being pulled to cover classes. That means that they're not getting their minutes met. We even have teachers of students with exceptionality subs being pulled to cover different classes. Students with exceptionalities don't get their minutes, but we're doing everything for our special ed population. Mr. Javia, you inherited this mess. We're looking for you to make changes. You can't fix something if you won't acknowledge that it is broken and our system is broken. And Ms. Lamy, instead of you all being Superintendent Javia's posse, we would love to see you all be our students' posse. They need you. Thank you. Up next, we, up next, we have Ms. Lori Drake. Ms. Begu, you got a couple of people in front of you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought, no, I thought you would be calling names. No, oh, I got a list. I'm going in order. Okay. Thank but thank you. you so much for coming tonight. Ms. Drake. Thank you. Good evening, Lori Drake, Pearl River, 18-year educator, 15-year teacher of students with severe needs. I'm here tonight to address the issue of agenda additions. As the teacher of students with communication needs, I tell my students that there are three main components of communication. The first is the act of gaining your listeners' attention. In the case of the union's recent request to address certain agenda items, the board and superintendent have been notified by the union publicly, at least at the last two committee meetings, as well as any other times that Mr. Osborne may have requested these um, items non-publicly. Most recently, 2,100 employees of the school system asked for attention via email requesting this addition to the agenda. I feel confident that our listeners' attention was gained, but that it may have been ignored. I, for one, received no response from any board member, most notably my own, Mr. Winkler. What do educators and parents need to do to gain your attention? The second component is the delivery of the message. The email that was delivered seemed clear and concise to me. Assuming that the recipients or board members are literate, the message was clear. I asked my students to look at the speaker when they are receiving a message. As an ardent board meeting virtual viewer, I have noticed on far too many occasions, and possibly even right now, board members looking down, even scrolling through their phones as they're being addressed by speakers. I cannot convey the level of disrespect displayed. Please listen to your speakers, at least pretend to. The third part is acknowledgement of the message received. 
I teach my students to reply with appropriate responses to the message. The presiding board member usually offers a wrote, thank you, Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so, followed by the delivery of their message. The true acknowledgement would occur either following the message or during the meeting for public record. Speakers have no indication that their message was met with open minds. The fact that this request for attention to the matters, including COVID days, substitutes, bus owner operator supplement has been ignored is a slap in the face to at least 2,100 employees. Regardless of union membership status, many more than 2,100 employees are in support of these topics. In fact, I challenge you to poll the entire school system employee base to determine their stance on the issue. It's clear that union data is being ignored. Please collect your own. And lastly, to Mr. Frank Javia, a recent comment that you made included some reference to Federation employees and traditional St. Tammany employees. Wow, what divisive language with regard to your one team staff. Now more than ever, my hall workers and I feel as though we're the only team. We get less administrative support from upper administrative levels with more to do in order to support our students. Thank please you, be the leader, please be the change oh, you promised when interviewing Hyman. for your position.